what would you say if I told you that we can now cut as much wood as we want without chopping down a single tree? Sound amazing? Let's ramble about it. Welcome to Chef Rambles, where I'm Chef and I tend to ramble. About what? Anything. And everything. 3D printing has really come a long way in recent years, and now it has developed to the point that we can 3D print our own wood. Let's take a look. A global forest survey reveals that since the beginning of human civilization, we have already wiped out 54%, that is more than half, of the total tree population on Earth. Although it is common knowledge that uncontrolled deforestation is one of the main causes of frequent heat waves, droughts, and tsunamis. We are still cutting trees down in large numbers on a daily basis for making products like paper, wax, medicines, rubber, and furniture. Some of these products are so basic to our lifestyle that we can't imagine our lives without them. Back in May of 2022, a study published back then in the journal Materials Today shed light on the world's first 3D printed lab-grown wood. And by the means of this research, the scientists at MIT demonstrated that deforestation is no longer needed to produce timber. So in this study, they created customizable wood in their lab from the cells of a flowering plant known as Zinnia elegans, popularly referred to as the common Zinnia. They claimed their novel approach allowed them to bioprint wooden pieces of any shape and size. This means that if you need a wooden table, you can directly produce a wooden table from the cells. Sounds like something from Star Trek. So, no deforestation and no wastage, which is what happens in the case of traditional furniture. So they managed to achieve this by treating the common Zinnia cells first with a liquid medium and then with a gel solution. And then the latter comprised hormones and nutrients. By changing the concentration of these hormones, the researchers could control the stiffness, the strength, density, and various other physical and mechanical properties of the lab-grown plant matter. After completing her research work at MIT, lead author Ashley Beckwith founded a company named Foray Bioscience to further develop new techniques and methods for growing wood without cutting trees. The current approach that involves growing plant matter from common zinnia cells is just the first step in this direction. It's also the first of its kind method that employs tissue engineering for producing plant matter in a lab. Until now, scientists have used this method for only animal cell culture. So, what do you think about our ability to 3D print wood instead of us cutting down real trees? Are we seeing the beginnings of the replicator from Star Trek, in which we can have anything we need printed? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. It really helps out the video and the YouTube algorithm. While you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified of future rambling content as well as other content that is uploaded throughout the week. Thanks so much for watching and have a killer awesome day.